Hey cutie pies, I'm Lanikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the bold and the beautiful edition. All right, guys, it is Tuesday, August the 30th, 2022. Uh, let's get right into it. Y'all know how we do on a scale of one to 10. I'm going to give this one a seven. You might be higher or lower, but you're not going to skate your way into some paint and get a higher score for this one. I'm sorry. No. All right. <laughs> so we see Finn and Steffi. And to be quite honest with you, um, I wish I would show more people. I want to see Zenday and Paris and that whole, how that's going to play out with Grace and uh, Carter and Qu I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired of hearing Steffi and Finn talk about how happy they are that he is alive and he's together. Um, Finn is going back to work um, because apparently you don't have to recuperate that much. I guess he did all his recuperation, recuperating when he was in the bed with Sheila and all them because he's been surfing again. He's going back to work. He is thin <laughs> and everything. So he's doing that. Uh, Steffi is just happy. She still has him. She can't, still can't believe he's alive. And I'm moving on from that one. Sorry, guys. I'm just not, I'm no longer interested in that. Like give them a storyline that has like some meat to a storyline um or let's move on to other people all right so then we see hope and brooke now brooke is still telling hope what's going on with douglas why is douglas not at home and hope is trying to play this cool like hope is has anxiety and she is worried about this but she's trying to play this cool or whatever so she says you know He's still with Thomas, and um, I thought he would be here by now, but, you know, that he's having a good time. I talked to him, and he was having fun and everything, so she's, she's just trying to let it go, you know, because Hope does not want a custody battle. She does, you know, she trusted Thomas to keep him one night and bring him back. That's what he said, and he's not doing that, but she doesn't want this to go into a tit-for-tat custody battle, and she doesn't want to involve Douglas in that. So then we see over at the Forrester home, Eric's home, we see that um, Taylor has made it there. Douglas is painting. They say we got a new designer and everything and everything, is, you know, they're having a good time. So then um, Douglas calls his mom, right? So he calls his mom and everything because he's supposed to be painting a picture and Taylor asks for the picture. He says, no, I'm going to give it to my mom. So he calls his mom and he wants to speak to her. Um, and so he's telling her, I painted you a picture. I'm having such a great time. You know, it, it's, it's, he's a child. He's, you know, it's, he's doing child things and he wants to just share it with his mom and she's happy for him. So she says, let me speak to your dad. So then she gets on the phone with uh, Thomas, do you think it is time to bring him home? Time to bring him home. Well, I mean, this well, is the uh, Forrester home. This is the Forrester home. It's where his father lives. This is home. It's where his father okay, lives. But you've already had okay, him you've already longer had than we originally him agreed longer to. Longer than we originally agreed to. Yeah. Can I? Look, I realize Look, that you missed him, but we need this time together. together. Okay, we need this so okay, we'll be so. in touch soon. Okay, we'll be in touch soon. Okay, but tell me. And he hangs up on her. <laughs> he hangs up the phone on Hope. She's talking to Thomas and she's telling him, hey, when are you going to bring Douglas home? And he's like, this is his home. <sighs> this is frustrating to watch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This is frustrating to watch because I side with Thomas on this. I agree that Douglas should be um, living with Thomas. However, you can't go about it this way, Thomas. You cannot just pick him up one day and say, um, I'm going to keep him from one day. I just want him to spend one night. And Hope agrees to that. And then you get her on the phone after you get him. Like, this is what they do Amber Alerts for, sir. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You can't just take, even if it's your child biologically, Hope adopted this child. Y'all have a custody agreement, so you can't just take him and say, I'm not gonna bring it back. This is his home. I'll talk to you later. No, you don't get you don't get the right to do that. You don't. And I want him with his son. 
or whatever. But I've said from the very beginning, Thomas did not go about this the right way. You keep saying, well, I don't want to stress Hope out. I don't want to make this bad for her. I don't want to do this and that. And then you turn around and do this. Like, I don't care if it's a soap, real life or whatever. Nobody agrees with nobody who has a child and has been raising that child would be okay with you saying, yeah, I'm not going to bring him home. We, we agreed to one day. Uh, no, I'm going to let him spend another night. Okay, cool. He spent two nights. And then you said, ah, I don't know when I'm going to bring him home, but this is his home. So yeah, talk to you later. And you just hang up on her. The disrespect of that. And like you're, y'all are acting like hope is just some random person who took care of Douglas. And that is not the case. And so Hope is just like, he hung up on me. And Brooke says, excuse me? And she's like, yeah, he hung up on me or whatever. Now, I think Brooke, Taylor, Eric, Ridge, Steffi, everyone should stay out of this. Because even Finn was like, well, how does Hope feel about all this? And Steffi was just like, well, she should be happy that his father wants him or whatever. But I'm like, Finn, like you still have to take into consideration her her feelings and her opinions, but they don't care. Uh, <laughs> they don't care <laughs> about any of that. So Brooke is like, I'm about to go over there and Hope is like, mom, please don't do this. But she said, I'm going. So then we see um, Thomas, Taylor and Douglas and Taylor has a meeting, but you know, she's she forgot she had this meeting or whatever. And so she said, can I use the, um, I guess laptop and all that kind of stuff here. And Thomas was like, yeah, make yourself at home. <sighs> Let's move on. They're going to get more paints. So Douglas and Thomas are going to get more paints. So then we see Steffi and Hope. So Hope is there to see Ridge. Why? I don't know. Why are you going to Ridge? Ma'am, you need to be going to Thomas. This is between you and Thomas, not you and Ridge, not you and Steffi, not you and Taylor, not you and Brooke. Not like this is between you, Thomas and Liam. So why are you going to see Ridge? You should have got your husband on the phone and told him, hey, Thomas is not trying to give back Liam. Go take your butt over to the Foresters. Who child? I mean, this episode just irked my nerves. It just irritated me. <laughs> just irritated me the whole episode. And so anyway, she go up in there and she tells, um, uh, Steffi that she was looking for Ridge and Steffi said, oh, you got those Hope creations or something ready? Hope, something she has designs or something she got. She said, no, it's my personal. Oh, it must be about Thomas and stuff then. Ma'am, if you did not go over there to see Steffi, shut this down. Because quiet is kept. I really don't care for Steffi. I'm going to be honest with you. Because to me, she's no better than all the rest of them who butts their nose into something that has nothing to do with them. This don't have anything to do with Steffi. And Hope should have shut this down because she shouldn't have been over there talking, trying to talk to Ridge anyways. You need to get a backbone, ma'am. You need to get a backbone and talk to Thomas and tell him, bring my son home. We agreed to one night. I let him stay too. Bring him home. If you want to do something else with the custody battle, let's do something. Like, if you want to do something else with custody, let's go to court and we'll do it that way. But you just dictating and saying, no, that's not going to work for me. Especially when I've been raising him. No, that's not going to work for me. So anyway, she's going to have, she's going to go back and forth with Steffi about, um, you know, Thomas, wanting Douglas and Steffi's like, he's at the Forresters. That's where he needs to be. His last name is Forrester. He's biologically, that's Thomas Child. And Ste I mean, Hope said exactly what she should have, which is y'all acting like I'm just this stranger who raised Thomas. And that is not the case. I'm not some stranger who was raising him. I'm his mom. I adopted him. We have a court agreement. Now stop telling everybody else about it and just go to the courts about it. Hope if you feel this way, just go to the courts. Look, I appreciate you. Look, I appreciate you. You've done a great job caring for Douglas. But I do feel like I'm some kind of nanny. I've been raising him. Look, I appreciate you. You've done it. And she has been raising him. She's not somebody that y'all just, okay, you can have him until we get Thomas together. I mean, because if y'all look at it like that, then y'all should have took stepped up and raised Douglas. Why didn't know what one of you step up and raised Douglas if that was the case? Hope became his mom. They have a custody agreement. Thomas needs to follow the custody agreement. If he wants Douglas permanently, go to the courts to do it. But what he's doing right now, it's not right. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to agree with how he's doing it. Even though I do think 
Thomas should li be living with his son. Douglas should be living with his dad. Yes, I agree with that. But this isn't the way you do it. The girl already has anxiety and stress about you bringing it up. She agreed to one day and then you went and took complete advantage of that one day that she agreed to. Child, I, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Y'all are making this something that it's not. Just go to the courts and stop arguing with Steffi about this. And she says, why do you always make it Forrester versus Logan? And Steffi told Hope, if your mom, if your, your mom has been with all of my, I guess the males in my family or whatever. So if you felt the way I feel about um, Brooke, then you, it's always going to be Forrester versus Logan. I said, well, she, it is what it is when it comes to that. I mean, I can't tell you. But it, so then we see Taylor and Hope. Excuse me. Then we see Taylor and um, Brooke. Although when it comes to Steffi, like you talk all it, like every time they always try to shame Brooke about who she's been with or whatever. But Steffi, like you're not going to sit here and shame Brooke when like you didn't even know who the father was of your children were both times, but let's move on. Anyways, Brooke and Taylor, Brooke called me in and she says, Taylor, you're here. And I said, now Brooke, listen, you need to stay out of this too. <laughs> you and Taylor both need to stay out of this. Like uh, I, I, what you should be telling your daughter is just, babe, go to court. Go to court with Thomas. Go over there and get your son. That's what you should have told Hope. Go over there. You and Liam go over there. Get your son. Bring him back. And then y'all just go to court and handle this. Because it's going to be end up in court anyways. But no. Brooke has to run over there. And she tells Taylor, I thought I told you that Thomas was not going to get to live with Liam. Like, I mean, with um, Douglas like that, he's not moving in. And, and she says, when is he, when is Douglas coming home? And Taylor's like, he is home. And I'm like, why are y'all? Oh, I'm frustrated by hearing that. This is his home. I'm like, no, it's not. Y'all have been letting him stay with hope. And now all of a sudden this is his home. I'm like, oh, I'm so sick of it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I didn't enjoy the story as much today because I'm just like, this is so frustrating and y'all making it out. Like, please put some other people. Put, where is Bill and Lee? I want to see them. I want to see other people. Like, give me Paris at this point. Give me Paris and give her some kind of romance with Zenday or bring somebody new in. So that Zenday could be even more jealous and upset. Do something. Uh, and her mama be upset or whatever. Do I like? I need something else. But anyway, these two going back and forth at each other about who who Thomas should be, who Douglas should live with, talking about Ridge and everything. And then Hope, excuse me, not Hope. Uh, Taylor accidentally pours paint on Brooke, and I mean it wouldn't have been so bad if she would have been like, I'm sorry. But Taylor started laughing about it, and so Brooke was like, Okay, okay, I got you. And so she pours, and then I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I was not. I was, I was not, not expecting this. I was not Neither. expecting this. Neither. Just like I wasn't Just expecting like you. I wasn't to expecting you to steal my husband steal away. My husband away. Once again. Once again. And it was all fun and games until Brooke made it serious. <laughs> And it was so funny watching this scene because you could see that they were actually laughing for real. Like, <laughs> y'all breaking character, laughing at each other. And so, anyways, but child, they all so childish. <laughs> They're so childish. <laughs> y'all have messed up those nice outfits being childish and doing this over Ridge is what killed me because this ain't got nothing to do with Douglas. This is y'all. You two are battling it out about Ridge. That's what this is about. But child, anyways, that was the bold and the beautiful today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow for a new um, edition of What Happened on the Soaps, Bold and the Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.